smile to Jenya. <laughs> Guys, two points that puts atheism in a lot, a lot of problems. Number one, how many times have you heard, oh, we know the laws and theories that has brought the universe into existence, hashtag Big Bang, therefore, God does not exist. That's incorrect because laws don't cause things themselves. For example, Newton's law can explain the movement of the football but it's the actual football player that causes the ball to move in the first place and number two how many times have you heard oh we know the mechanism that has brought about life on this planet hashtag evolution therefore god does not exist again this is incorrect because knowing the mechanism does not refute a designer for example if you know how a ford car works that doesn't mean that the creator of the Ford car, Mr. Ford, Hello. does not exist. Goodbye. We have science. Do we need God? Now granted, science has been very useful to us over the years. It's led to the cure of many diseases. It's removed many superstitions like demons cause eclipses. <laughs> now. That's all well and good, but some people take it a tad too far and say, because we understand the mechanisms without involving God, therefore there's no God. Now that is some dodgy logic. That's like someone believing Mr. Ford makes his car move. Hello. Later he realizes he was a plonker and it's actually the engine. Goodbye. That doesn't mean that the designer of the car, Mr. Ford, doesn't exist. <laughs> Remember, if there's no Mr. Ford to design the car, there's no car for us to understand. If there's no God to design the universe, there's no universe for us to understand. Does evolution contradict God? First of all, why are these two being put into the same category? It's like me asking who's better, Ronaldo or uh, LeBron James? <laughs> Ronaldo? He's a football player. LeBron James, basketball player. It's two different categories, mate. So, similarly, evolution is a biological mechanism and God is a creator and designer of mechanisms. So, if evolution was true, there'd be no contradiction. One's a mechanism and one designs and creates mechanisms. Hey. Who can fail to be amazed at the homing instinct of a pigeon, the migratory instinct of the bewick swan, the echolocator system of the bat, the blood pressure control system in the brain of a giraffe, the muscles in the neck of a woodpecker? To name but a few. Our living world is replete of such mechanisms of mind-bending complexity which point towards only one creator Allah how can we still deny